Hello everybody, John here, and today is a very unusual Secrets of the XK8 number 50. And the reason it's so special, in a strange way, is it's a whodunit. Um, you guys are going to get involved and try and work out what's going wrong with one of our subscribers' vehicles. So, uh, Cory S. Fawn has a great website, a great YouTube channel, so please go check that out and subscribe, help Cory out. Um, but after posting the video that you're about to see, he got in touch with um, to the garage to see if we got any advice for him. So I've got my theories as to what's going on. I don't know if I'm right or not, but let's all join in and get this one sorted. So here's what Cory has to say in his video. This is my 97 XK8, and I want to see if anyone could help me with an issue I'm having with it. Uh, me and the girlfriend got home the other day from a shopping trip, and as soon as I, I, I put it in reverse uh, to park, and then once putting it in park and turning the car off, the key would not come out of the ignition and a bunch of loud beeping was coming from, I assume, this speaker here. And normally when that happens, it, it's, from what I understand, the car doesn't believe that it's in park. And usually if I move the shifter a little bit like that, it, it will stop doing the beeping. But this time uh, the beeping didn't stop until about 10, 15 seconds later and I still couldn't take the key out. So after taking this piece out and putting a screwdriver in and then putting the car down into reverse, it wouldn't go uh, all the way into neutral. But the by putting it uh, out of park, I, I, I eventually got the, uh, the key to come out. But since then, the, the car will not start, and it does, and I'll just let you see it here. All right, so when I go to start it, foot on the brake, nothing. And once I try to flip it over again, it won't let me. It's, it's like it stops. And, of course, no play other than here in park. And I've read for some posts and see there, there is a check engine light that's still on there, but I don't know if that's, uh, if it normally does that or not. I haven't, I haven't really checked that, but, um, and there's the beeping sound. And it typically does this when, when I stop at a store somewhere and the car is on a slight incline and it doesn't believe that, that it's in park, but sometimes it does it when I, when I bring it home. But uh, the key will come out. Uh, when I originally did this and we, we came home, the, the key would not come out at all. So um, just a, a very, very weird thing. And you know, I, I have unplugged the battery and or the negative terminal, left it unplugged for several minutes, plugged it back up, had to reset the windows and um, the, the car still will not start. And I have not tried putting it in neutral yet to see if it will. I've read some things online that it has something to do with a PNP or a, a neutral uh, park and neutral sensor. So if any of you all could help me out with this and let me know, um, give me your opinion on it, what I need to do. Um, this car is actually under a warranty, but it only covers the drivetrain. It doesn't cover any of the sensors or anything. So before I go diving into getting a, a new sensor, if anyone you know, might be an authoritative source on this, uh, hopefully you can help me. So thank you. So having had a couple of messages from Corey and had a look at his video, I responded to him. And in the first instance, this is what I was uh, going back to him with. And no, I don't know what the problem is, but my suspicions are around the transmission selector cables. I think that they've stretched and therefore when the lever's in a particular position, the gearbox isn't in the right position. And if the problem's been getting worse over time and he's been jiggling it, then that could be those cables. It does happen. Um, the same thing could apply to the switch pack, the bit underneath the selector lever that tells the, the lever where it is. It's actually biased to reading where the gearbox is rather than where the stick is. The stick really only tells it what to light up on the PRNDL part, but I'm not an expert in that area. 
I also thought it interesting, but you couldn't hear the click clack of the selector lock coming off when he pressed the brake pedal. And so I wondered if that might actually be part of the issue, but that could just be the microphone that Corey's is using. Then I re-watched the video and I noticed on his dashboard the rear bulb failure light was on. Um, and it could be completely unconnected or it might be the clue to the whole thing. So does that mean that the brake light is not coming on? And that could be the brake light switch that the pedal operates is not working. And that could be why it won't unlock his transmission. Um, and that could be at the root of everything. So I don't know. That's where my theory has gone to. And I'm sure Gory's going to check that out now and um, see what he thinks. I made this little video clip to send to Corey uh, to let him know how my car sounds when you press the brake pedal. What I want from you guys is some feedback on what you think Corey's problem is. Let's solve this one. Just a tiny little video that is a bit of a secret of the XK8 that may help out uh, one of our subscribers who's struggling with a transmission that seems to be locked into park. Um, we have the ignition on, ignition lights on the dashboard, P is lit up on the selector stalk. When you try and move this back, it won't go. If you touch the brake pedal, such that the brake lights come on, can you hear that? I'm just going to move my Lavalier mic to here. So touching the brake pedal. And when you're touching the brake pedal, that comes out. So if you're not getting that click, then look at your brake lights, brake switch, before you do anything too complicated. Um, looking for a problem with your transmission because it could be as simple as that. Do the brake lights work when they should work first? Uh, if they do, look at the little mechanism that blocks that. So firstly, Corey, I hope that helps you a little bit. Uh, secondly, please throw the comments into the uh, area below, guys. Let's help out, Corey. And thirdly, is this a good idea for a format for some of our To The Garage sessions? If I give it a different name. Um, again, I'd like to just repeat, this is my hobby. This is not my job. So if I get inundated with people saying, solve my problem, a lot of you are going to get really disappointed. And I don't want that. Um, and I am getting to the point where I have hundreds of comments and hundreds of emails. So, yep, yeah, I'm loving it. Don't get me wrong. Um, and stuff that catches my eye, we could do something like this with, but it certainly wouldn't be a send it into John and we'll get it around the world. What do you think? Let me know and see you again very, very soon on To The Garage. <laughs>